Welcome to this tutorial about anim trails. So let's just jump into it and describe what we're going to be doing. So this is the animation trail that we're going to be setting up today. So stay tuned. So first off, uh, the trails that we will be using today are from this VFX attack trails uh, pack that was free on Unreal Engine's marketplace a while back. Uh, I couldn't find any free uh, anim trails to you so you could follow along. So if you don't have this, that's going to be a little bit of a downer, of course. Uh, but in the future, we will be creating some anim trails of our own. So then you can possibly uh, reuse those for this if you don't have anim trails yourself. Anyway, uh, this anim trail pack is made of Unf games, and because they were free for a bit on on the marketplace, I can't uh, use the the anim trails and then provide the project to you because it's costing money and that would break the, the terms of service but these are the, the trails that we're going to be using today and they have a bunch of different ones they have flame ones and ink ones and uh, corrosive ones and all kinds of different uh, uh, effects in addition to the anim trails we are also going to be using a weapon from this free fantasy weapon sample pack that is available in the permanently free collection on marketplace so if you want to pick that up we're going to be using a weapon from here okay then now we are inside of Unreal Engine 4. This is version 4.26 if you want to follow along. This is very similar in Unreal Engine 5, so it works there as well. Um, and let me just describe a little bit what anim trails are first. So an anim trail is a visual effect that you can create either in Cascade or the newer Niagara, Niagara uh, particle system. And it's sort of a wavy sort of um, after effect that you have on something uh, to give it a sense of movement. So what we will be creating today here is I have just imported a uh, Mixima animation here. So we're going to be using that and we imported the, the sword that I told you from the marketplace asset. And we will be creating this uh, anim trail for this weapon basically. Um, so I will be providing a link down to the Mixamo, uh, how to import Mixamo animations in case you don't know how to do that. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to go to our skeleton. And like I said, an anim trail is something that creates a wave. And how it does that is it takes two different points in space. So we need to define these two points in space for the anim trail to work in. And we can do that either by just using existing bones, for example, or in the case that we're going to be using today, we're going to be using this sword. And this sword is, I currently have created a socket in the right hand for this sword to be attached to. So if we create another socket here, we can call this first socket uh, VFX trail base. Something descriptive just so you know what it means. And then we'll create another one. And we'll call this one VFX uh, trail top. Something like that. So now we have created two different sockets here that we can place in the world. So if we take the first one and we just place it somewhere uh, where our sword is. Somewhere along the base, so it would make sense that it would be at the, the base of the, the blade. Let's reduce our speed a little bit here, so we can get a little bit more precision. Something like this. And you need to make sure that you also have all of your... Uh, you need to check your, your all three dimensions to make sure that you get this properly. But that seems to be decent, I think. So somewhere there. And let's find the place for this top uh, socket to be as well. Then. So this top would be somewhere along the, the, the edge of the blade. So over here. And you see how, how how difficult it is to get it right when you just look from one angle. You need to make sure that you check from all angles to 
uh, make sure that you get it aligned properly. Eventually you'll get there, but it will take a few tries. Something like that seems to be looking okay from a few different angles. Like so. So now we have a top and we have a base. So this is where we will be working with our anim tray. We will be telling it that between this point and this point over here, it should be creating its wave. And then motion from this will actually be uh, producing this uh, VFX um, effect. So if we just save this and now we go to our uh, animation. So this is our animation. So I have this animation which is called uh, it doesn't really matter, but it's it's swinging around its its great hand sword like like so. Uh, so I've set up that the sword is is attaching to this socket basically, and now we need to add this VFX trail. And how to do that is you just right click here and you click on uh, Add Notify State. And since this is going to be a cascade effect and not a Niagara effect, we're going to be using trail. Uh, and we just put it out something like this. And how this works is we choose a point in time when we want it to start working. So if let's say we wanted it to from here, for example, we wanted the effect to start playing from there or start uh, being in the world, displaying its visual effects there, then we will find a end spot for it. So let's say that we wanted to have it over there and then we can adjust these two. So this means that between these two spots in time, that's where it will be using doing this VFX trail. And we're not quite done here because now we have the trail selected here. You can see that we have a template and a socket name and a second socket name. And this is where we created the things earlier for. So we have our VFX trail base over here and we'll use that as our first socket name over here. And you can see that it will recognize it in the dropdown and this needs to be named exactly the same as the bone or it won't know where to uh, display it. And when it comes to the template here, I, have in, uh, I think it was called corrosion, yes. So it's called corrosion, now we save. And now we can actually start playing this and display how it's going to be looking. So this is the effect that we're going to be getting with this. And you can see it will show when we're playing, it doesn't show when we're doing the scrubbing, and it will also now, since we have this character in the world here, you can see that he's playing. I have made this uh, mannequin to play the animation over and over again, and this is what the effect will look like. We can see it from a few different angles as well. So that's that's the basics of how you uh, set up and, and attach a anim trail to a character. And you can be very creative with this. Uh, you can do all kinds of things because all the only thing that you need is a anim trail and two points in space. So you can put traces along like arms or legs or have them along the spine. So if the character is running uh, and you can have a bunch of different trails, you can make additional tracks here and you can have different trails that start and end at different points in time. Uh, I'm sorry if you heard my cat over there, she wants some attention. Uh, so yeah, so you can get a lot of creativity in here by, by having different effects and different trails and different timings on, on different places. So that is uh, very uh, a very creative process to create something cool here. I hope that was clear and that that makes sense anyway. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.